El Paso International Airport IATA, ELP, ICAO, KELP, FAA LID, ELP, Spanish, Aeropuerto Internacional de El Paso is a public airport 4 miles 6 kilometers northeast of downtown El Paso, in El Paso County, Texas, United States. It is the largest commercial airport in West Texas and southern New Mexico, handling 2,929,362 passengers in 2017. The airport is primarily for the El Paso-Las Cruces combined statistical area. Topic history The city of El Paso built the first El Paso Municipal Airport near the east side of the Franklin Mountains in 1928. The airport was closed by 1945 and in more recent times has been home to the Job Concrete Products Plainport Cement Factory. In 1934, Varney Speed Lines, now United Airlines, operated at the original El Paso Municipal Airport, now closed. The original El Paso Municipal Airport construction was inspired by a visit from Charles Lindbergh. What became the present-day El Paso International Airport was built as Standard Airport by Standard Airlines in 1929 for transcontinental airmail service. Standard Airlines became a division of American Airlines in the 1930s. In 1936, American Airlines swapped airports with the city of El Paso and El Paso International Airport was born. During World War II, the airport was a United States Army Air Forces training base. Units which trained at El Paso Army Airfield were, 385th Bombardment Group Heavy, B-17 Flying Fortress December 21, 1942 to February 1, 1943 served with the 8th Air Force in England, 491st Bombardment Group Heavy, B-24 Liberator November 11, 1943 to January 1, 1944 served with the 8th Air Force in England, 497th Bombardment Group Very Heavy, B-29 Superfortress November 20 to December 1, 1943 served with the 20th Air Force at Saipan. At the end of the war the airfield was deemed excess by the military and returned to the local government for civil use. The April 1952 C and GS diagram shows runways 4, 8, 12 and 17, each 7,001 to 7,062 feet long. El Paso was the last stop of the first hijacking of a jetliner, a Boeing 707 owned by Continental Airlines. Before airline deregulation in the United States, El Paso was a focus city for Continental but was soon demoted to a standard station in a hub and spoke system under Frank Lorenzo. The airline had a pilot base that was closed in 1963 but reopened in 1977. The passenger concourses were built in 1971 as part of an expansion that tripled the size of the airport. It was designed by Garland and Hills, serving general aviation at El Paso International Airport. Cutter Aviation established a fixed base operation in 1982. Cutter Aviation moved to a new facility on Shuttle Columbia Drive in 2006. Atlantic Aviation also serves general aviation at ELP. Topic: <laughs> Facilities. El Paso International Airport covers 6,670 acres 2,699 hectares and has three runways. Runway 4 20 seconds, 12,020 feet times 150 feet 3,664 meters times 46 meters, surface, asphalt. Runway 8R, 26L, 9,025 feet x 150 feet 2,751 meters x 46 meters, surface, asphalt Runway 8L, 26R, 5,493 feet x 75 feet 1,674 meters x 23 meters, surface, asphalt Main terminal The terminal is a pier satellite layout. It has a central entrance and the gates branch out east to west on the two concourses. The airport has east and west concourses. Gates A1-A4 are located on the west concourse and gates B1-B11 is located on the east concourse. The airport has a total of 15 gates. There is also a lower and upper level. The gates are located on the upper level and the ticketing, baggage claim, rental car, and main entrance are located on the lower level of the terminal. 
The meter greeter area is located on the lower level just behind the escalators that lead to the Transportation Security Administration (TSA) checkpoint leading to the gates. Major terminal renovations have been made over the past several years, designed and managed by the local architectural firm MNK Architects. The airport access road is Convair Road. Convair Road splits into four lanes with the left two lanes reserved for commercial vehicles and the right two lanes utilized for pickup and drop-off of passengers. In between the split road there is a waiting area where passengers can wait for commercial vehicles to arrive. Gates Generally, these gates are used for the following airlines. Gates A1 A3, American Airlines and American Eagle. Gate B1, Delta Air Lines. Gates B3 B7, Southwest Airlines. Gates B8 and B9, United Express. Gate B10, Allegiant. Frontier, B11. Food Court. The food court is located between gates B6 and B11. It is currently occupied with Carlos and Mickey's Mexican Express, Pizza Hut Express, Quiznos and Starbucks. Airlines and destinations El Paso International Airport has 15 gates on two concourses, Concourse A has gates A1 A4 and Concourse B has gates B1 B11. Topic: Passenger. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Statistics. Topic: Top destinations. Topic. Accidents and incidents On July 20, 1982, Douglas C-47DN-102 BL of Pronto Aviation Services was damaged beyond repair in a crash landing near El Paso International Airport following an engine failure shortly after takeoff. The aircraft was on a domestic non-scheduled passenger flight to Tucson International Airport in Arizona when the engine failed and the decision was made to return to El Paso. A single engine go-around was attempted following an unsafe landing gear warning. On February 19, 1988, Don McCoy, a private pilot, the owner of El Paso Sand and Gravel, took off in a newly acquired Rockwell Aero Commander 680 in a snowstorm an aircraft he was not properly rated to fly, and attempted to land again after encountering mechanical trouble in instrument meteorological conditions IMC. .The aircraft crashed, killing the owner and two acquaintances. Some later attempted to attribute the accident to U.S. Senator Phil Graham, as it was alleged that McCoy planned to testify against Senator Graham's shakedown of campaign contributions made by the El Paso Small Business Administration Office. On January 16, 2006, a mechanic employed by a contractor of Continental Airlines was killed when he was sucked into the right engine of a Boeing 737-524 while investigating an oil leak. The aircraft was preparing to depart as Continental Airlines Flight 1515 to George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston. In April 2015, a Southwest Airlines jet was directed by the tower at ELP to land on a closed runway under construction. The aircraft landed safely but missed construction equipment by mere feet. On June 3, 2018 American Airlines Flight 1897, from San Antonio to Phoenix, was diverted to El Paso due to damage sustained by the aircraft after running into a hail storm in flight. The plane was able to land normally, and no injuries were reported. See also Texas World War II Army Airfields <laughs>